Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fate Extra. And uh, when you're watching this, uh, well I won't be here tomorrow. Well, actually I won't be here the day you're, you're watching this. It doesn't really matter for you guys, but hopefully I can actually get enough footage for the next episode 29. Because I won't be here on Monday. And I haven't recorded these in advance yet. <laughs> Well, I recorded them in advance, but I haven't, like, put commentary over the footage. So... Me. Although, uh, well... So, about that marathon thing I was talking about, like, several videos ago. Well, that, those, those things are still happening. Jesus. But they won't be, uh... They won't be... It won't be Final Fantasy 13. That won't that'll be the first one, and I'm not doing it anymore. I, I I couldn't I couldn't find the the motivation to actually finish it. But anyway, your your your, your, your plan for essentially killing all these guys is doing Shockwave Second Strike, then Bestial Sky in a skill. That's pretty much all you're gonna be doing against these enemies here, and you should finish most of them in one shot. Actually, uh, because it's tradition at this point, I'll I show two battles with uh, each new enemy, and then I cut every battle past them. I wonder what's in there. Uh, let's go find out. But first, we have to take care of this apostasy. I wonder if that's that probably is a word. Yep, that's definitely a word. What does it mean? The abandonment or renunciation of a religious or political belief. Um, okay, well, I guess all these enemies are a form of symbolism for this game. That's quite interesting. But anyway, in this uh, little cube here, we got the student council badge. Which is what the student was looking uh, for earlier, so we need to exchange that for the comic. I'm not sure what happens if you backtrack and whether or not you know, the enemy will actually be there when you backtrack. I don't, I don't think anything will happen if you backtrack. But for the sake of uh, moving on, I suppose I don't, I don't, I don't uh, backtrack at all. Anyway, hey, it's one of those fish envy colors. I forget their name already. But these guys are called Tremors. Same strategy as before. You have MP heal now, and you should have a lot of MP restorative items. So you should really just use skills to your heart's content. I don't think I grind for too long in here, if at all. I don't think I grind this day. I think I grind a little bit in the next day, but it's only like a level or two. I really want to grind in the second floor of the arena. I think it's what... Oh, no, no, I don't think that was it. I think, uh... There was a day that doesn't have actually anything, um... Which Mikado doesn't have uh, anything for you to do in the. That doesn't have any major events in the arena, which I haven't done yet, so I think I need to. I need to go start playing again and grind so I actually have footage. So, that's something I suppose. Oh, yeah, the first game marathon. It's either gonna be a marathon or it's gonna replace. Uh, Mega Man. Not Mega Man, uh, it's gonna replace a uh, Summon Egg. Well, the first game is is gonna be Mega Man, Mega Man X. I played it. I I I, I uh, There's a little bit of a story behind that game, but I'll go into it in the actual Mega Man X marathon. But I played it the other day and I finished it 100% in one session, which I didn't expect to do. So that happened. Well, yeah. There's nothing we can do. You can grind on this day if you want, but you can't explore the whole arena. 
So which is why I use a return crystal and just go back uh, to the uh, what you call to the school. So at this point, we don't really know what the enemy, what the enemy's intent is. They've chased us, but they really haven't done anything so far. So maybe they don't want to fight us, but who knows? Yeah, no, that's what they did. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I had to uh, press the X button by mistake. Anyway, instead of just running back, I, I use a return crystal. Oh no, wait, I explore the rest of the arena first, actually. And hey, it's one more of those uh, tremors. But you can grind if you want, but I do that during the next day, I believe, so. I don't really use return crystals, I usually just go towards the entrance or an exit, but just to save on time uh, during the recording I just uh, used it because I have five, I'm not going to use it or anything else and I'm not going to sell it either so might as well use it. There we go. Uh, I need to see if I actually have enough footage for uh, Uh, episode on Tuesday. I should have enough. But, anyway, back to the game. We need to do something about that barrier. No. <laughs> I, I'm already uh, above the, uh, the recommended level for this, uh, this week's Master and Servant battle. Well, that's nice to know. I've been like that for the past few weeks, haven't I? Or rounds, I should say. So I don't. I technically don't have to grind at all, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to make it easier on myself. Something else I wanted to mention about this game. But I can't remember quite what it is yet. Ah oh, yeah, we need to give this person the city council badge and they'll give us the comic book. And now we can give it to the Taiga and she'll give us another request. I believe. Oh no, we can't give it to Taiga just yet. We need to wait until we have access to the second floor of the arena. No, I, already, I believe I've already mentioned the different modes. Yeah, I already mentioned different uh, modes of the game and, uh, wh and whether or not you should switch to them. So I don't really need to discuss that right now. I had the ability to record my PSP for, for quite a long time now. The, the, the game I originally wanted to record on it was the translated version. The first game I wanted to record on it was Final Fantasy... Uh, what was that game? Final Fantasy Type-0, I think it was. And then they, But then they released a, an official translation on the PS4. So I have a PS4, so I'm not going to play that on my PSP when there's a... A PS4 version already out. I think it, it, it's bad. Well, people think it's not good because it keeps all the portable stuff. Like, because it, it doesn't tra make it into a console game. Like, it still acts like it's a portable game, I think, is what the HD, Final Fantasy Type 0 HD is about, which is why I don't. People don't like it so much. I think that was a, a thing about it, but I don't recall whether or not. That was an isolated opinion, or that was uh, a general opinion about the game. I played a bit of the game on my own free time, but 
it would crash whenever I would try to record it initially, so that's why I, that, that, uh, I never did anything with it. I am thinking of playing Inokuni Wrath of the White Witch after this game. I'm thinking of doing that. You see, I kind of want to hold off on PS3 games because I do have a I, have, I do have their converter, as I've said many times before, but it, it, it make my it, it makes my PS3 convert uh, send a signal at 480i resolution, which isn't really that great. And uh, there are other cables to make it output into uh, 720p, but I would need another converter for that, and I don't want to spend money more money on that kind of stuff right now. Actually, I need to buy the cable too, which is pretty cheap, but. I still need to buy the cable on the converter because I have an Elgato HD60, which only accepts HDMI inputs, unfortunately. So I just need to buy a bunch of converters. The converters usually don't affect the quality at all, or cause any input input lag or whatever. Because I, uh, well, because I'm not watching. Because when I'm recording a console game, I'm not watching the footage on my PC because there's lag on that. So I watch it on my TV. And instead, because I was after HD60 has an in and out, so it can output, it can take the signal and send it to my PC and send it to my TV at the same time. I'm happy with this is the software. I like it, uh, but I'm not sure what to exactly. Well, Skyward Sword, I recorded a bit of. I don't know if that'll take take over after Fate Extra, or whether or not I'll just upload that occasionally, which I think is the current situation of Skyward Sword, is that I'll upload it occasionally simply because when I upload it I have to verify it with the Nintendo's Creative Program and that takes like two days and it's a bit of a, a, bit of a weird thing. But anyway, Let's head into the, the arena, because we were told to. I don't think there was any... I don't, I don't know if there's any repercussions if you go somewhere else. So, uh... Don't go anywhere else? Anyway, we need to head into the arena. And the music will still play. us from outside the arena oh no <laughs> no but they, they do attack us from outside the arena yeah like you said I don't think they'll actually ever come after you if you don't if you, if you, if you don't like if you fool around I don't think you'll ever actually see them but there's no point in just sticking around near the entrance, so just move on. Um, you don't have to go out of your way, I suppose, and go throughout and go to the other branches. So the enemy will stop chasing you once you actually reach the the door. So just head over there and, and grind off. And well, you can get experience off these enemies later. This section was actually one of the more uh, annoying, not, not annoying, tedious sections to actually edit because there's a lot of battles here. So uh, I had to edit a lot of those out. And uh, that's a bit a little bit tedious because it's just find the beginning of a battle, go to the end of the battle, or when ahead of the end of the battle, you gotta go back. It's, it's that kind of thing. So yeah, they stopped chasing us for some reason. I wonder what the, the deal is. We don't really know. But uh, I don't necessarily care either. Hang on a second. A piece of footage should be there. 
Okay. Okay, 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 uh, alright. Oh no. I think a piece of footage was put. Alright, I think I put a- I accidentally put a, put a certain piece of footage first. Hang on, let me look here. Let me see here. Oh no way, we actually did talk to Leo, didn't we? <laughs> oh wow. I, I, com I, I completely like, blocked that section of the footage out of my mind. I just thought we just like went immediately to the arena, Jesus. I wasn't paying attention to the footage at all there. Wow. Anyway, the, the lapel badge, lapel, la lapel badge, that allows us to go through the door. Hooray. But the badge is in the grid, so we can no longer use it, unfortunately. But yeah, you should get the trigger on this day, there's no reason not to. So let's go. And hey, it's those bull guys again. I meant to, you know, stun this guy, but it didn't work out so well. But same strategy as pretty much all the other enemies. Just spam your skills and you should be fine for the most part. Just use MP heal when you need it. And spend your money on uh, MP restorative, restorative items instead of uh, instead of uh, healing items from now on because you can just heal. Well, you buy healing items as well, but I'll focus on buying MP restorative items because you can just use MP, you can just heal with your, your, your with your own MP anyway. So and with the shockwave strike and Vestial sky combo, you shouldn't really ever take any damage. Um, if there's ever any tougher enemies, you'll, you'll, you'll probably take some damage. Like if an enemy is able to survive past the two uh, moves that you do. Like those golems, but those golems didn't really do anything <laughs> after that, so... I don't need to worry about anything, but anyway. Here's the cipher trigger, trigger key, whatever. Trigger code. But yeah, now we're free to explore the arena without any worry about uh, obtaining the cipher, the cipher key. It's kind of odd that it's placed there immediately after the door there. You'd think they put it somewhere deeper into the arena, but I suppose uh, some people might want to leave the arena and then come back the next day. But there actually is a rare monster that appears on this day, and I don't know if he comes back whether or not he's here well it's here on uh, another day so they're probably gonna want to explore the rest of the arena during this day because well if not explore the rest at least uh, kill the rare monster I believe we'll get shockwave third strike here I don't like it it gives you more MP but only uh, but only uh, stuns the enemy once uh, when you actually battle them so they'll so they, so for their first move they'll be stunned, but for all the other moves they won't be stunned, so it'll be harder to pull off the best real sky uh, than skill combo. It can still work, but the problem is, is that if the enemy guards, your skills will do less damage and probably won't kill it. Which is why I still prefer Shock Shockwave second strike over Shockwave's third strike. I thought it would stun three, you know, three of their. Uh, their attacks, but it doesn't do that, so don't don't equip Shockwave. Uh, third strike if you do get it. I forget if I got it earlier or not, but don't equip it. It's not that great of a form where I don't like it. Maybe it's maybe you like it. Maybe I'm not using it correctly or something like that, but I personally don't like that form of wear, and I prefer Shockwave second strike. Anyway, the Gamma Waves are no problem.
主人様ご主人様敵ですご主人様敵です And I don't remember if I actually do grind during this or not. Actually, I don't think I actually go back to the, the school in this episode. I think I do everything but go back to the school in this episode. So I think I do do some grinding, but I don't recall how much. So that's, that's going to be something, I suppose. And those guys give a crap ton of experience. <laughs> Yeah, Shockwave 3rd Strike. Don't clip it, don't use it. I don't like it. Just stick to Shockwave 2nd Strike. You're gonna see me equip it here because I thought... Because I already told you what I thought about it. It increased your MP by 10, by 10 but I, I just say equip Shockwave 2nd Strike and, and don't, don't, don't use it. And don't use this, this problem where... Oh yeah, we do. I do have the form more that increases your speed in the arena. Um, it does use some MP, and it does increase your speed by quite a bit. You actually run pretty fast, uh, but it's not permanent. Like it's not for the entirety of when you're in the arena. It runs out after a while. So I don't, I I'd still just walk back and forth instead of use instead of using that uh, the enhancement spike. I think it might might be. I forget which uh, form where it is. But anyway, I, I equip Shockwave 2nd Strike because I prefer that over Shockwave 3rd Strike. It's I, I feel that it's a much better piece of formal air considering it's a secondary effect. Oh, considering how much it stuns the enemy. Oh yes, any elixirs you get, you're going to want to keep for, uh, for the final boss more so than any uh, arena battle against your opponent so if you get any elixirs in the arena or anything like that keep them and don't waste them because they recover your you know your servants HP and MP so I would recommend you, you save your elixirs for the final boss now you may not need to use them at all during the final boss but if you're having if you're much lower level than me you're probably gonna want to keep those for the final boss no, anyway, again, this Nephilim, just take just take it. it. It's the same strategy as all the other Nephilims. You shouldn't really have any dip, uh, any real problem with this Nephilim. So, anyway, this video is going to end in around uh, 40 seconds. So, I'll see you guys again next time, whenever that is. Bye. Let's go!